What is the Zykus movement? I know a lot of people are asking questions on who we are uh, and what we are affili affiliated with. Okay, I'm going to explain this to everybody. What, who are we? We believe the planet is rich of resources and we would like to work on making those resources abundant to all the Earth's people by working together to make a better way of living through using current technologies to create self-sustaining automated systems to eliminate as much of the hard labor jobs as possible. While we upgrade the living style of every human being on the planet, we are here to organize, educate, and to share our ideas with one another with love and mutual respect. We are not just some non-for-profit non organization or some political movement. We are not some scam, a cult, or any way affiliated with the United Nations. We are a large growing number of individuals who are seeking a better understanding of our culture, our society, our environment, and ourselves. We want to see the world as one living, breathing organism that needs to be helped and healed from all the sickness and chaos we have caused it. We are the activist arm of the Venus Project, which advocates a resource-based economy, as defined as the intelligent management of the Earth's resources where everyone has access to all the basic needs and services without having to put a price tag on. We understand that if we continue down the path of self-interest, greed, violence, hatred, and ignorant, be ignorant behavior, then we will see more pain and suffering in the world. We want to apply science and technology to solve most of our social and economic cool problems by not allowing for control or power to reign, but to allow for people's creativity to flourish and expand. We want to help educate and share our understandings with the world to help with this transition. But this transition to a resource-based economy will not be easy at all. But creating a starting point is the beginning stage. Through creating awareness throughout the, throughout the people of the world is one of the most important stages we must work on. By making videos, doing lectures, handing out DVDs, flyers, postcards, pamphlets, and creating radio shows, we can all make a difference. But being part of the movement doesn't have to be about helping us for hours a day. You can just do the little things that make a difference to be part of the movement. We are not asking for your money, but more importantly, just your participation alongside us. We must remember that we are all one, and we are all on this insane planet together with the same problems. But if we want those problems to go away, we as a collective needs to take responsibility for fixing those problems and to help heal our environment together. Not as separate nationalities or separate cultural, cultural groups, but as planetary caretakers of this earth. Jock Fresco has said it best, when your body is out of balance and at war with itself, then it cannot survive. The same goes with our world society. If there is no balance and equality, then we are set for our own self-destruction as a collective. We only wish to create an abundance of all their resources without having to threaten or disrupting our own planet's ecosystem in a more humane and self-sustainable way. The real revolution is the revolution of our minds and hearts, where we must be the change in this world. Because politicians and global leaders are not going to create it for us. We the people on the grassroots must act together to make this world a better place across the globe. One day we can all live in a world without the need for wars, poverty, disease, greed, corruption, homelessness, crime, prisons, punishment, government, politics, and most importantly without money. If each one of us just take one moment each day to help with this transition, you'll be surprised to how much of a difference a small group of people can make. If we all just work together with love, honesty, and mutual respect, the world will be a much, much better place than what we live on today. A great man has said, the only limitations we have as a human race is those which we impose upon ourselves, by Jacques Fresco. So please, everyone, you know, if you don't understand the Zykus movement, please just ask us any kind of questions. We'll try to answer everything that you might have. It's best that you uh, download the Zykus movement orientation guide, uh, the video, and the pamphlet, the PDF. It's like an ebook, kind of like. So if you download download that 
pamphlet from the Zykus Movement website, you will learn a whole lot more than what we're talking about. Uh, there's just so much information out there for you to take in. It is very difficult for anyone to understand our movement right away. It takes some time to do some reading, to do some research, to study, to uh, understand exactly the whole mentality of this whole shift, this whole awakening process. Most people, uh, they don't get it through their head that, wait a minute, you know, this planet is one planet. You look at it from space, it changes your entire perspective. You see the world, the globe, as a blue ball. You don't see no lines, no borders, no countries, no states. You don't see you don't see the walls being built. All you see is one globe, one planet. It's like that in the entire universe, okay? So please remember just to do your research, educate yourself, and remember if you want to join us, there's not much you have to do to really join our direction. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.